I run a company called Hawana Limited, a company that produces affordable and environmentally friendly products in the form of briquettes and uh, biogas, as well as organic fertilizers from waste. The reason why we're doing this is because uh, we are trying to solve the energy crisis that Rwanda is experiencing in our day. The situation is that over 80% of the people in Rwanda are still relying on wood charcoal for cooking. And that means that um, over 3 million of trees will be cut to satisfy this uh, energy need alone. And in addition to that, uh, a lot of children are dropping schools because they are trying to help their parents to collect their uh, to collect firewood for cooking. And uh, that is also a very big problem for the future of Rwanda. So by using the waste to produce briquettes and biogas, which are sustainable replacement to the, uh, to, to the wood charcoal that people have been using for many years, is also a way for us to improve sanitation in homes. I was born in a very, very poor village whereby before going to school, we first of all had to go in the forest to collect firewood every morning. And that was a very, very difficult problem for many young people like I was. So I grew up thinking about something that I can do to change this because many children ended up by uh, not uh, continuing their education. And that would have happened to me, but I kept persistent. And because I had that goal of trying to find something that I can do to change that situation in my village, I kept pushing until when I graduated from high school and something that none, of, none in my village has been able to do. And after completing all those levels of education, I tried to think, what can I do when I go back home? And I found that the, the most pressing issue that I have to solve was uh, to see how I can provide that, uh, uh, th th that fuel need, which is preventing children from going to school. I'm trying to create a world which is environmentally stable. And the way to do this is not just trying to find uh, these fancy, expensive solutions, which are building like fancy homes for the people. But, but I think we do have the solutions that have been there for many times, but we need that business model that we can apply so that this underserved market, especially in uh, developing countries, can be reached. So that's what I'm trying to do by combining the technologies available to provide a clean fuel, which will then reduce the cutting down of trees. And then after stopping the cutting down of trees, you'll also be improving the health of people because they will not be having CO2 in their kitchen. That's why we are calling every, everybody who can be able to do that to also contribute to creating the kind of world that I want to see in 15 years ahead.